Greetings everyone, uh, Synthesis here. I'm going to demonstrate my Barnes & Noble Nook Color E-Reader. Uh, the first thing you'll notice here is that uh, I have the matte screen protector. The normal screen is an extremely high gloss screen. Uh, picks up fingerprints, uh, but it's very sensitive to touch. Uh, looks fantastic. It's one of the best screens on an e-reader that you can get when you start talking LCD. Now I'm running the uh, Cyanogen mod. I'm running uh, a modified version of it. Let's turn that back on and let's go ahead and unlock it. As you can tell, uh, it's definitely not the stock Barnes & Noble software. I'm also running a modification to the Cyanogen Mod 7 software that allows me to have a bottom, t uh, bottom menu bar down here. As you can see, it operates it's a full menu bar you can do anything you want with it just like a standard android phone or tablet uh, applications uh, as you can tell i currently have wi-fi bluetooth and silent mode on the desktop i also have uh, market uh, file explorer my hypnotoad to go which you have to have and then my rom manager i'm running an, a widget at the top called beautiful widgets it has weather capability and it shows my city and current weather forecast and then down here at the bottom are all of my shortcuts including settings everything in cyanogen mod let's go ahead and hit the back button down here it's hard to do this when you're looking through a camera uh... here's the nook e-reader application from Android Market. I'm going to hit my reading now and it'll load up my most recent book. And I can go ahead and continue. I'm currently reading in night mode, of course. My battery on my camera is dying here, so I may have to cut this short. Hit the back button again. We'll pop into Market real quick. And of course in Android Market you can turn around and select any applications that you'd like to install. In this case we're going to go over here and check out My Apps. This is everything that I currently have on my system. And anything that needs to be updated is listed at the top, including my ROM Manager and my Google Maps. So we're going to update my ROM Manager real quick. And that's pretty much it. I'll follow this up with more videos as soon as I get uh, a charged battery. So we'll let this install and I will see you in a little bit.